Hey, it's how Pinger Life's Math and History, and we're going to be taking a look at negative exponents becoming positive, and positive exponents become negative. So we can actually make exponents turn into negative form and positive form by doing something with a strategy. Here's an example. If we have 8 to the power of negative 2, what we can do is say 8 to the power of negative 2. If we uh, make that jump to the bottom of here as 8 to the power of 2 and say 1, that is going to be the same thing. Because when the exponent crosses a division sign and goes from top to bottom and bottom to top, it's going to change from negative number to a positive number, like this. So Patrick was being positive at the top, but when he crossed the line, an invisible division line, he got to the bottom, so he was from a positive to a negative. At the bottom, were animals, hostile animals, that beaten him up. <laughs> Sometimes, people want to turn the negative exponent into a positive, and sometimes, they want to have the positive exponent turn into a negative exponent. Like, we have 8 to the power of 2, but if we want to turn into a negative, you put it at the top. So. 8 to the power of negative 2, since it crossed the line. Remember, when an exponent crosses a division line, that exponent is going to become a positive and a negative, and vice versa. The opposite of what it used to be. So, 8 to the power of 2 is now 8 to the power of negative 2, because it crossed the division sign. That is a way that we can change the exponent of the number by crossing it over the division line to make it positive or negative. That is a very cool strategy. This method would work if we are working with fractions and we are dividing by exponents. So we have 10 to the power of negative 2 and 10 to the power of negative 5. What we can do is we're going to have to subtract each other. So, minus 2, minus, minus 5. Since we have the parts of a subtraction symbol, we are able to put them together and make an addition symbol. So, negative 2 plus 5 is 3. When we get 3 or 4 our answer, we're going to say 10 to the power of 3. Because 10 is going to be our number, and 3 is going to be our exponent. So, 10 to the power of negative 2 divided by 10 to the power of negative 5 is 10 to the power of 3. But that is without the crossover exponent changing method. We can actually have a faster process and get the same answer. Because we have the same problem again. But we're going to try and do the crossover method. So, if we have uh, 10 to the power of negative 2, we're going to have to go down to the bottom and say 10 to the power of 2. The negative becomes a positive when crisscrossing and going over the boundaries of that division symbol. And you have 10 to the power of negative 5. We have 10 to the power of 5. Ah! So, guess what happens? We, it drives us right to our answer. Because... 5 minus 2 equals 3. 10 to the power of 3 will be our answer. So you see how that had less steps than that? Both steps would have the same answer. But with this one, 
if you uh, turn the negatives into a positive, they can help you drive yourself to your answer. Which method do you like? Type in the comments below. So, the, the strategy when you uh, make the exponents negative and positive and negative again, it actually works when you're trying to divide fractions or you are working with fractions. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe.